Hello, and back to hello part two of our catalog launch party. This is kind of this is like a regular Thursday because um, we're going to be doing a create with us project. But this is the free stamp set. Create with her project. <laughs> oh, I drag you in. This dog unfriendly. How cute is this? This is the drawing we put out. You know, four of us do the card play retreats together. The next one is the last weekend in January, and we have so much fun together. <laughs> And I put out a thing to guess the main suite that we were using for the make and takes. And so everyone that guessed right, I have your names in here. I had to go through and, you know, write out the names this time. So I'm going to have Tim draw live. So we'll get to that. But first, I just wanted to say a couple more things. So who wants to win? <laughs> and well, I, heard, I read a few comments from you guys saying, that's the one I would have picked. I guess I should have voted. <laughs> Isn't that life? You, know, you, you got to play to have a chance to win. What can we say? Um, but there's a bunch, bunch of other drawings. I'm going to, at nine tonight, there will be eight more names for drawings for new accessories in the catalog. So it's so fun to get new things. And then tomorrow we'll have more drawings over in the back porch stampers. So yes, Tim is back from I'm doing back. some deliveries for me. Um, also wanted to mention that Holly, many of you know Holly, who is my VA and my close personal friend. And a team member. And I couldn't do this without her. She's going live and also does giveaways in between mine. So I just want to make sure you guys know that because you want to go watch hers too and get in whatever she's doing. I mean, I have no idea what she's doing, but we just alternate. We stagger because we know a lot of you follow both of us and you'll find her at Handcrafted Blessings. So I wanted to do a shout out to her. And let's see if there's anything. I never guessed right. Somebody's saying that's how I feel. Oh, that is pretty hilarious. The other thing I wanted to say, we had a hard time deciding. We went with this bundle for a couple of reasons. The reason it was hard to decide is purple is kind of a divisive color. People either tend to love it or hate it. I love all colors, so it's irrelevant to me. But the paper is heavily purple that goes with this. So I, what I forgot to mention was half the paper you're getting is from this purpley painted lavender DSP. The other is from the Poetic Expressions. So we can substitute, use different things. So that way it will really totally tone down the purple if you're not a purple lover. Plus you can use your own flower stems. Like you don't like you don't need to, you, I don't even know which one I'm looking at. You can use your own words. You can use your own um, flower. So yours, it doesn't even need to look by us. And that's not all. We also have eight. It's not all. It's never all. We also have eight more bundles that we're featuring. And as part of the thing, you you will get early. We're, we're putting out early what you, um, Monday you'll see all the all the things. I think it's Monday. But you will get all the PDFs for that. And you'll get early the supply list. You can cut your own for those of you who want to make the same uh, products with us. So just know it's not limited to this. We like to pick one so that people can choose one a stamp set or a make and pay. It's easier. And you have eight ideas to go with one Sam said, if that helps. But you get all the other stuff too. So it's a great deal. And of course, lots of prizes. Uh, and I think that's all it. Does that make sense? So let us, that's about card play. So the winner, let's, no, wait, we're going to do this up here. I'm going to mix it up. We're all mixing it up. She we're going to be what? so, so fair. Whoa. Usually I have the computer pick them, you know, but she because I had to go through and do the names. Okay. <laughs> so he's good. We're going to see who this is going to. And it is. <laughs> okay, here it is. <laughs> Kathy Rubel. So, Kathy, you know the rule, I think. Just, <laughs> Rubel, Rubel. Uh, you know, just message me your address so I don't have to look it up, even if I have it. And I will put this in the mail to you. And thanks, everyone, for playing along. This is just so fun. I, We love giving things away. So that's pretty fun. And uh, the drawings for later, all kinds of new accessories. So that will be that. Let's see if we have any other questions. Kathy Box says so close. You're right, because I know you're on the list too. There were, uh, I don't know if there were like 30 or 40 names in there. So that was pretty good. I said no, that were correct. So that's pretty fun. Okay. So did that cover what I needed to? Uh, and I, I mentioned this so. morning, the card kit this month is, there's always a fun fold. And this is the fun fold. And then you get two other cards. So I put a video on putting those together. That is my thank you gift for ordering. And of course, you get this amazing glass mat that you're going to be seeing all the time if you want to get the starter kit. 
The other, so I have one more thing I want to talk about, and that is All Good Cards Club. January, someone brought a message. I was trying to think of the name. <laughs> See, names go out the window that she was feeling so behind because there was so much to catch up on. I said, yeah, I feel like I have so many announcements. <laughs> I don't usually do that. But card play is January 16th. We do that every month. And this month, it is going to be all about pleated cards. There will be fun folds, other pleats. So today for our make it, for our create, we're going to do a basic pleated card. So here is where, and this is, we will do this larger size. Look at this gorgeous card. And this shows the new paper and the butterfly, which is part of the make and take thing. Isn't this just stunning? I think this is a beautiful card. I received this at a swap from Susan Nygaard. So a big shout out to Susan. And I decided we would do this size in the class, because I always do one thing on a Thursday that relates to the class. So you'll find that in the class plus this size. But I wanted, I chose to go smaller for now. So for our um, make and takes today, they are, they're just easier. They're just quicker. So perfect. So this is what we're doing. Actually, let me show you a few. Aren't these fun? Look at, do you see the pleats? It gives a very different look to the paper. So we have all of these we're going to work on. So this gives you a little taste of what we do. So in All Good Cards Club, we meet three times and you get the videos and the PDFs forever and you get everything written out. And so like this would be one, but just the beginning of what we're going to do. And the thing that's fun is then you can always go back because if you're thinking pleated cards, you can go back. You kind of know where to find them. Everything's together. So you can have your PDF. And, you know, we could do a pleated cards volume, too. So <laughs> I told Holly I took out half my ideas because I'm really trying to make life a little simpler. So I, that's OK. I said I'll be prepared for another. So if you guys like the pleated class, you can just ask for more and we'll go from there. Can uh, I say something? OK, yes. I have just become very aware of the fact that I'm really in Karen's shadow. You know? <laughs> Is that hard I, for you? Oh, no. You can really deal with it. Nice. Okay, you can it's deal really with it. Nice. Okay, you can deal. Especially okay. when you hold up the cards in front of my face and nobody knows I'm there. <laughs> I know. Well, you know, you're supposed to peek around and make a game of it, Tim. That's what you do. Oh. You're supposed to gamify life. Oh, I was going to ask about that bowl. I mean, isn't that? Oh, I, I meant to ask this. Who else has bowls like this? I saw somebody said that. Helen said she has a 65-year-old bowl just like this, a wedding gift. And I thought, this is what, a set of four Pyrex from the old days and all that. And I... We use them all the time, <laughs> including for drawings. <laughs> so anyway, how fun is and that? And since the, the paper is very clean, I don't have to wash this. No, I have to put that up again and hear stories about people's Pyrex bowls. There are a lot of Pyrex collectors nowadays that I've just heard this on all the kind of the unusual things. Of course, there's collectors for everything. But I just, I saw some going through Instagram or something. I thought that is just hilarious. <laughs> all these things. Okay. Please don't put Tim in the shadows. <laughs> they said, well, it's up to him. Tim is not, you, you guys might not believe this, but I'm the introvert. He's the extrovert. So he should have no trouble getting in there. Okay. <laughs> okay there we go. <laughs> and aside for coming what do we do mind, now? <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to change the screen. Can you live with that? I can live with that. So I think this is just a fun card. And uh, uh, so anyway, we're going to, start with this. So we're going to make this one first. Seven by four. Yes. So these are the pieces I had you bring. So it's just these pieces. This will go on just like this. Okay. And this is just the base card. But oh, some of you have two sets. Well, okay. Here's two confessions. We do two. <laughs> one that we use hard. One that's in the basement that I found for a reserve <laughs> in case they break. I just, but Tim, I shouldn't let you know that. Maybe you'll well, be less I think careful. I know that. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think I see, I've seen them down there. So now how cool but is this? Are they both old sets? Yes, they're both they old brand? sets. They're the original I think the old new, sets. Yeah, the new ones. Are... Do you know what I don't have, Tim? No. What? Is my um scoreboard and I need it. Do you oh, think you could go find that it? That thing? Yep. The finder. I was actually just using it. Okay. I'll go look. So we're using the smaller size, and you're gonna see we're gonna be scoring. Ashley, if you're from Phoenix, I'd love to meet you. You know, we're going to be spending a week in Phoenix, and I would love to meet anyone who's in that area. We will also be in Tucson, um, Albuquerque, and we don't know where else. <laughs> so, so we're just going to chat. Well, uh, uh, Elaine has uh, orange from Pyrex. All the fun colors. I didn't even know there are things like pink, so I've seen some interesting things. Okay, scoreboard? yes. We are back to this. So. 
the scoreboard. And you know, this is celebration. You get a free item with any $50 purchase too, um, as well as the card kits for me. So just want to point that out. Bone folder. Okay, Tim would like a bone folder. So that will be his job over there. Okay. So to look at this, you're going to see all these score lines. But I want to point out, we're going a half inch, then a whole inch, Tim then a half Tim's inch. Yes, and a half inch. So you're going to see a rhythm to what we're doing here. So we're going to go a half inch and an inch. And then we're going to skip because we want a whole one inch. So we're going to go two, two and a half. We're going to skip to a whole inch again. So three and a half. Whoa, and I didn't do that right, you guys. Three and a half and four. I better just fold that correctly. And we're going to skip again to five. Yeah, and tell them I'll call it back. Five and a half, and then skip again. Does that make sense? So we're doing a half inch, one inch, half inch, one inch. That is our folding. Jan says if we get to Costa Rica, she'll be there. I said that would be wonderful. I would love to have that on her list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the chatter about the bowls. Uh, so I'm going to put a comment thread up so I can read more things. It's so fun. So this is it. And now we are going to fold. I will do this again. So don't worry about the measurements. And they will be up tonight on my blog. Um, Narsh finishes uh, that right away and puts it up. Okay. So this time I am. Tim will be pleased. I am using a bone folder because so I want to get these nice and flat. And uh, let's see if I pressed hard enough. It's a lot different doing it on a out here in a video than just playing. See, then it skips over right there. And then I'm, I'm trying to make sure I catch the one that I did wrong. But, you know, it's just paper. We can, I think it's this one. Okay, so we will go to the further one and hoping, yeah, that looks right. And you'll never even notice that extra little score line in there. So we'll be totally fine. Okay. Uh, the last score was six and a half because we have a seven inch paper. So you're on just that half inch. Every score line here is a half inch or one inch. So I love that because it just makes it easy. Look at Tim. I'm using the bone folder. All are, right. you, are you impressed? I'm very impressed. Okay. I'm going to do that. Um, this card is... Did you figure out which one you didn't want to... I think so. Well, we'll see. Up. Now will be the true test. Because see, now when we fold them up, look at how lovely that pleats. I'm going to do it a little differently today. I made these nice and flat. So it just almost looked like new paper. And I thought, this time I'm do it, I'm going to leave the ends just a little bit and just see. Because maybe, you know, we always like to play around. And that's always the reason. If you get one card made, it's always fun to do another. You might come up with other ideas. You know, and it, it's just as playful. Yes, we're doing this card again in All Good Cards Club, so it'll all be in there. Plus, we'll be doing both sizes. So, um, and that's just one of the many cards, you know, that we'll be doing. Okay, so this is it. And now what we need to do is just have these pleats. Um, I'm going to tape them down. So where I'm putting tape is on all the half-inch parts. So if you see, I'm going to fold this up and I'm just putting tape. Oh, and I wasn't going to go all the way. I'm not going all the way to the end on this one, just so we can see the difference. Because experimenting, I might as well experiment live. We do a whole lot of that in the old cards club. <laughs> People come up with other ideas and then we try them. So it's uh, all pretty fun. And and I would just say right now, we have a really fun class plan for February when we're traveling. We're going to do a really fun retro party. <laughs> okay, so look how cool that is. My back looks like this. And I'm gonna come here and do the same because I want these to lay down. So the only thing that's slow then about this is just that it's more taping. And you can see I'm just kind of hitting the middles because we're going for a different kind of look and seeing what we think of that. But I didn't run my tape runner the right way. I find with a tape runner, sometimes I run it too far. You have to go up a little more to get it. Sometimes, yeah, it's okay. It's temperamental. I still don't like them. Tim doesn't like him, but you know, I love you. He and doesn't I, like glue either. And so I still, he's fussy. I still have the old fashioned kind. I, I, I'm hoarding. I, we have one left. <laughs> he uses the first things. But you see how this one's going to flare Ooh. out a little more so we can see the difference. And it flares out more here because that's probably where I remembered it more. <laughs> but it's all good. Kathy said she loves experimenting. I do too. And I love it that you guys will experiment along with me. And it's part of just being in community and having fun trying things together. What are you doing now? 
I'm putting tape on the back because I'm so just gonna... going to make my card. Great. Okay, I think this had some. Oh no, no, we're good. I was gonna say, I think I did. I did it fine. And I put this, you know, we often talk about a quarter inch bigger. So this could be a quarter inch, but I went a half inch bigger just because I wasn't going to emboss the background or do anything else. I just wanted this to kind of stand alone and to notice this color. Mm -hmm. So then we'll put this on here and we will. Um... So are you saying the way this curls up, that's what you wanted to do? Yes. Yes. I'm making a difference. And see, I forgot to do it here. But I think that's a cool look. So see, we're just doing it differently. What do you mm -hmm. think? And then we'll just see. We'll see what we like best. I think that's a... So now I have this year in my thoughts. And this part is going to go over the pleat. So I, oh, so I put some tape runner here. I'm going to put a glue dot here on the part that goes off the edge. But I'd like a mini one. Let's see if I have a mini. Let's see if I have a mini one. I don't see a mini one, so I will cut myself. Cut one and a half. I will cut myself. <laughs> yeah, there, we there we go. There we go. Put it on the end. The and that is because this part goes way down. This is a much higher mm -hmm. level because we have this layer, and then we've got a couple of layers yes. here since it's pleated. So now I'm going to put that on. That's nice. And then... Um, there's, I think, a way that they should go, but but I don't care. I use them either. I'm going to put it this way, I, I think. You care? Yeah. I think it and goes think... the other way, um, which means, but see, if I thought about it, I would have put your my thoughts then over here. I think it goes this way. Okay, so see, I'm going to but... switch. We're going to do card surgery. <laughs> okay, you can do it the other way. I have a little, no, no, because I think going away, see, to me, if the words are there and it's flying away, yeah. you're in my thoughts, but my thoughts are fleeting. Do, do you like that? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Okay, I gave you a thought for a moment, but you know, so we're gonna okay, do now. So I'm just reversing it, and I'm going to put my that over there, and tape on the side, and we'll try this. Okay, these butterflies are amazing, and you get a whole ton of them for eight dollars. And you can color them, but look how pretty. I, I haven't even played with coloring them. You could sponge them, color them, miss them, all kinds of things. But I just think how pretty they are against some bright paper. They just really stick out. And then this could be put on several ways. I was showing the other day how to do it on, uh, um, well, I don't remember where I was showing you, but you know, I often will, if you want it totally flat, I use this. If anyone, can't, let's see, I would use this, but I don't have my sponge right here, but I'm just going to explain. I put a little glue on here and then we just sponge the back and it lays nice and flat. I often, on something like this, I like it to be a little loose. So it's a little more delicate, but it feels a little, little bit like it's so gonna fly. Gonna sponge? No, no, I think, I think, I think I'm gonna do it this way. I hope you know where a few things are stored now, but but I'll do it this way because there's always two ways. There's always at least two ways. There's really more ways than that. And then I just squeeze my glue dot. You can see I'm working on other things from my first show this morning. This morning we made multiple cards. And by the end of the evening, she's going to be filled with all kinds of rem rem reminders. Well, I will have left a lot of them around the house too. <laughs> That's kind of all the coverings to things, right? So I'm just looking for a few places to hold this. I just need one up there. So I'm putting four on. But I think it's cool because, you know, anything works. The other mm -hmm. way it works too. Make sure that it doesn't fly away. Yes. See, and now I will put it on there, and then I will add some gems, which I'll do mm. later. Uh, and that just fits because it's more, you know, more that we're thinking. But isn't that cool? You know, and, and I love purple too. So I think it's interesting. But even if you don't like purple, you might have friends that like purple. But I love any color that's done. This is, um, but it's also easy. We could make this more of a tan thing by using some of the other, like this one is a lighter color. But if you were doing this, you could go with more, um, Muted colors this way. And you see, she sponged the mm -hmm. butterfly right there. Now, I can I can say that that looks more finished than that. I mean, that, this does look like it's backwards. No, the, no, they're two different sizes. And they're oh. actually on the right sides, do it this way. They face so each other, I think. Way it's but it's they're just, yeah. 
So, but that what do you think? Do you like this illusion. a little out or this? No what idea. do you have a preference? You like it flat it or better? It looks like it's. Okay, what do you guys think? Let's uh, weigh in okay. on this. It looks like a mistake. But like no. I didn't get the tape all the way. Yeah. But if all of these were like that, yeah. and done if it correctly, all of them were, that'd be something different. Then it, so I'll have to experiment and try that one more time. Now this is a card I don't have more cut from, but I just wanted to show varieties. This is from the uh, delightfully eclectic paper in the big catalogs. One of those is that a belly big band? layers. No, but it looks like oh, one, it so sure it could does. be. But again, I just thought this is so pretty. Is this is the paper? You know, on Thursdays, I do a lot of things just using the papers, just make it quick. And so we can do a bunch of them. But this is just one of the flowers cut out. And then the rest are all kind of like hidden. So this looks almost like a Bargello to me. I've done some Bargello cards where we do paper strips and then realign them. It's a type of quilt card. Ooh. And this kind of makes me think like that. So I think that is a fun. Sandy likes flatter better. Uh, oh, Christine likes the second one better. So how interesting. Oh, flat is kind of flat is winning. Okay. So well, we'll go to the next they, one. They just agree with me. But you see, I did the same thing here as the flower, but I just cut out one of the strawberries and added to the little words. Mm -hmm. And then the paper being pleated just looks, it just looks totally different. And I think it's just really fun. Debbie's wondering who won the contest. She came in late. Who did? I put the name on the Kathy. It was one of the Kathy's in my life. Kathy Rubel. <laughs> A lot of Kathy's and Karen's, you know. So anyway, otherwise these measurements are it's, just the same. It's Kathy with a K. Oh, and look at this. This one I didn't even cut. So I will cut this one since we're working on this. So if you remember, this measurement is four by seven. So I just need to cut this off at seven. Oh, Tim, that could be a problem. So I got, okay, there we go. I have to remember if I know how to do all this you know i use my chopper cutter typically so i'm gonna cut that off to have the right size where did your um little cheat sheet go with all the measurements on it oh it's in yeah. the other room it's right there oh it's right there oh oh this yeah, one this, for today that's just, yes yeah. that's right here so, see this people did come late so they can this see leftover this. part that is where i used to cut out some strawberries so now this one is extra because i already cut out a couple of extra strawberries so there's my seven by four and really, this is easy to measure. You just kind of might not want to multitask when you're scoring because you have to think to yourself. And you still make mistakes. Yes. Well, this time, I'm not even going to say the numbers. I'm going to say half inch. So first, I'm going to, I start with the two half inches. When I get to one here, a whole inch, a half inch, a whole inch, a half inch, a whole inch a half inch and a whole inch. That is just another way of saying one half and one. So we start with that. Then we jump to two, two and a half, three and a half, four, five, five and a half, six. They're alternating. So that is all that it is. So that's six and a half inches from over here. Oh, did I leave one off? Oh, I did know. I leave one? Did I leave one off? Uh, I, I, you might have. I think I ran out of room. Six. Okay, so that would jump to six and a half. No, six because we want the inch. No, so so. <laughs> Why do I do this? I'm going to tell working of, of doing this. Uh, what did what did I do wrong? Well, no, okay, you just here. I'll show you. Put it back. Mm -hmm. Put it back. Put yeah. It back. We're, we're close. Yeah. Okay. I guess not. I thought you. Were, this would have come right okay. there. All right, you guys. No. Just well. Okay, a six, six and a half. Is this one half? Oh, okay. I, I just have it backwards, guys. That's all. I just put it on backwards. So uh, there is supposed to be a, a six and a half here. Uh, and I think what happened is I chopped it off. <laughs> so, so just know six and a half. The thing you're going to know when you start folding it up, you'll know if it's wrong, but just know it'll be correct on my website. Okay, so, so we have that. <laughs> and this is four inches. Yes. Okay. Uh, does that make any sense? And um, then the paper I put under it, if you just want to know the size, it is three by four and a half. And again, it's all going to be on the website in just like three hours. So um, it, it's all written. It's just waiting for the video to go in and for Narsh to double check everything. Okay. So now then we'll go. Okay. 
And then we're just going to, okay, this time, since I'm going to let it be a little looser, I'm not even going to worry about, I'm going to be really daring here. I'm going to see if this works. To uh, not necessarily, I'm not going to use the the uh, bone folder. And I don't know. So, because we're just trying varieties, right? Sometimes it's easier to look on the back side. Or look on the right side. This is the, from the Sunny Days paper, and it is one of the free choices in celebration. And it's just such a happy set of papers. I mean, I just love the the uh, bright colors and the fun things in it. And then I'll fold it up. Okay, I did it right. Now, you know, if, if I don't... So this is interesting. There really isn't a way to make those flaps loose. So looking at that, I think I'll probably just make them all flatter. Yeah. Because if it, if they, these yeah. don't really flip out. Okay. So this time I'm going to just do this. I'm going to go this way at the end. And this way at the end. And if I don't get things perfectly straight, um, you know, we're just working on this. Now, you could try putting it on like this with um, like tear and tape or something like that. But I just decided it was easier. I don't think it's hard at all to just run the tape down. Uh, so I might be doing over you know, over needed, but feel free to do whatever you want. But I also think this makes it really clear and how we're doing it. I was actually using tear and tape this morning. Were you? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll make the third card without doing any of this. We'll, we'll try that and see if we can really shorten it up and how it works. And then you can pick your own. That all works. I think at this point, we wouldn't need to do the front. So let's not do the front. You know, I showed you last time you can go through and do this and then you have your place all setting. This time I am going to, Kimberly said she loves how real Karen is showing us how to make a mistake and use what we have. Boy, you got it. This is all meant to be like playtime for adults, I think. And uh, you guys don't see some of the things that that uh, just made it to the recycling bin, but you see plenty of other mistakes that make out in here, but this is all the beginning. So see, this is a little trickier. I can do this and it works fine. It's just you got to hold it out, and it's just a little trickier placement. So see, each time we're taking out a step and seeing if it still works, okay? And this this one I will want to have flat because I don't have a band. If I had a band going all the way across like this, I probably wouldn't need to. But because that is there, I will need to close this one up, okay? Then I have my little strawberry. Strawberries, and I have these two strawberries cut out. So which one should we use? We have, no, the white's too white mm -hmm. to go with that. I think we got to go with this one. Yep. I actually like the red better. I do too. But um, so I could use this, or I could cut another one. You know, let's take this and cut one out, so we let's can talk cut, about fussy yes. cutting. Yes, because there is a technique to this. So I'm going to pick this berry right here. I'm just going to go around it. Oh, there's a bunch of berries on here. I guess there was a closer one, but I'm going to pick this. The trick with fussy cutting, you know, you don't need to be perfect, but move the paper, not the scissors. You see, I have my hand just resting here, and I'm moving this, and I'm going very quickly, more quickly than I would in real life, stamping alone, although I still do these quickly. This is the kind of thing I do when Tim is watching TV, and I'm pretending to be joining him. <laughs> and I'll ask, did you see that? She said no. Okay, so that's the trick. And I, so I don't mind. And then I can look up if I'm halfway watching TV. It's all good. Okay, so I'm going to put this on with, I'm going to pop this one up. And then this one, I'm going to do the same. Do you see how this is kind of flat here, but it's higher here? So I'm going to go ahead and put a glue dot. I, and I just, Kind of guessing at this, but I just like to lift these up a little wherever they need. Lift so they look a little flatter. And then I'm going to add the, oh, and I forgot to put this on the base card, if you're wondering. So what I would do now, I don't want to flatten all this. So what I would do is take my glue dots and go this way and just go around. I love using glue dots this way. So I'll often sit in assembly card, assemble cards too, just sitting. This is a small enough piece. I would just put four on. If it were a larger piece, I'd put one more in the middles there. But I'll put that on and then all she's, I have left is very frugal. are my gems. Mm -hmm. I know you hate doing fine motor work, so I don't know if you really feel like folding one of these or you might have a the time off today or do you oh. want to fold one? 
Time off is perfect. <laughs> don't give them a choice. Is that it? Um, oh, I don't care. I'll, I'll do one. Yeah. Uh, okay. If, okay. If, if so we're going to make one more. We're, we're going to make one more. So we have it all done. And then the embellishments really add. But I thought, okay, if that make, is that making sense? I'm hoping. Um, yeah, I am central time zone. I see people talking about the time and they'll miss the time. And I thought, oh, and I put that on, but I'd be totally confused if I translated it. So I'm not going to translate this. So I guess you're on your own. Okay. So here's the last one. This is from the Kid in the Round set. This is my favorite uh, one in there because I love books. And I think this would be such an adorable card to give. Um, well, it, uh, to give a child that you're giving books to. And I thought, wouldn't that just be perfect to go with books? Mm -hmm. So that was my favorite, but there's all kinds of little things like that. Back of the chair or is that a hat? That's a hat. Okay. <laughs> That's what we're trying back of the chair. <laughs> back but I just love that she's sitting on the books. She's got a chair, a wing chair. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we have these <laughs> pieces cut out again. <laughs> oh, look, I had another red already cut out. So Ooh. I was prepared. Okay. <laughs> If you like this pleated look, you're going to love the next All Good Cards class. We're going to be doing pleated shades, pleated fun folds, all kinds of cool cards. And I just, this to me is really a classy look. And it's almost a little bit like abstract art or something. I mean, it's very, very artsy. So we're going to do the. Okay. I will score and then you can fold. Yes. That would be nice. Okay. So we are going to go half inch. One inch, skip to two, two and a half, then skip to three and a half, four, skip to five, five and a half, and skip to six and a half. <gasps> Done. And you may Did it. go ahead and fold that. Okay. While I uh, chat with people and see what so is what's, going on. Okay, which side do I start uh, on? Wait, and, let's see. We're not going to want this side no. to show. Look, at, I think that's another just adorable one. So you're going to just, you start. so you're just going to start okay. going that way. In fact, okay. let me, yeah. Okay. And then you'll see the next one going over there and let's see. We have questions. Uh, Kathy's pleated cards are new to me. Yeah. I'll, I'll be teasing you with a couple of other samples of what we're doing, but down the road, but uh, Pat, I love her comment. She said, the pleats remind me of sewing class when I made a pleated skirt in eighth grade. Yes. And do you realize how you could take these pleats and make, you could use like a punch or something for the top and you could spread these out and make a little skirt out of it. Um, I like to say that this is uh, what we all did, fan folding the bulletins in church, if you did that growing up, because we didn't have air conditioning, it was always hot, and I'd pleat fans and fan myself, and I thought, whoa, now I'm doing it for other reasons. <laughs> you see, that's that's really cool, isn't it? Okay, so see, we're shortening, even Tim is shortening it up here and doing it, so how perfect is this? So should I be really daring and not tape anything and just go oh, ahead and put this on? Oh. Okay, because just since we're trying, okay, we're gonna we're gonna just see, so we can see how fast we can be and how confident we can be. So we take this, and then this is uh, put it on this bright green. I think this is I think this is pretty peacock. The hardest thing is when it's all put together, it's easy to find the center. I'm kind of having to guess here, so it might be a little off, and it is a little off. So if that bothered me. Does that bother you? No, no. Okay. If it bothered me, all I would do is just trim a little on the edges. I okay. do that all the time. Now that doesn't look like it's going to hold right. Uh, Are these going to? Yeah. So see, th this idea wasn't my finest hour. We're just yeah. playing. <laughs> and I'm sorry to do this to your card. I know. Because, you know, you're going to probably send this oh, card to I, Alana, you know. Who made that card that doesn't look right? Well, that changed. <laughs> I just, <laughs> when cards don't turn out, I just put Tim's she, name on the back. Yes. <laughs> Oh, she does. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, okay, and then I better put this one down. Yes, so right. I think it's quicker to do it the other way. But you see, this is what you find out with playing. And I think this is okay because I'm putting a whole band across here. Mm. And I have a different one of the background mm -hmm. papers here. But the whole band, I think, will keep it. So we'll put this on. And I know you love centering things. Today he sent, put something on. You know, he writes journals. He came in and says, oh, I'm so bad at centering because his, his uh, he always decorates them, was off. But it was he off. Said, but I said it didn't look that bad. It would be, 
Okay, so yeah, that's a little off. It bothers me a little, but hey, someone's still going to get this card and you're not going to complain. Now, because this is so, oh, this one's also wider. Ooh, so, but that's okay, too. You're going to see on this, I'm going to put dimensionals on both sides so it sticks up like that. And then in the, the middle, the right to keep, yes, because they're the same and there's room there. So I can do both of these. Now, of course, you guys already know that this is the challenge for the week. You put your card, you can use any papers. You don't need to use Stampin' Up! things. You know, ideas beget ideas. And I love to say we're all more creative together than separately. So we like to see a whole bunch of cards. And we do a drawing every Wednesday just among everyone who participated. So we're just taking this idea and you do your interpretation. And mm -hmm. now, you know, see, this is still, this lays flatter I think it's, because it's taped. Yeah. Th this, this is adequate, but here's just the difference. So you're going to play with it and see. Now, if I wanted my card to be a little thicker, this could even be doubled on there. You know, if we wanted Ooh. this to hang like a little loose under here, you can do double dimensions. Mm -hmm. So we could do that if we wanted. And where'd the other girl go? Here. Here she is. And because this is going over here, I'm going to pop up on the top. And the bottom. bottom. Yep. So there's where, and I'll have you put it on. Yeah, are you just going to put a strip in the middle or not? Uh, this strip is already in the middle. In the middle of that. No, I'm not. I'm not going to care because this is small enough. It will just go on, and then again, the dimensions helps because that'll kind of go over the band. You take them all off. Yep. Okay. Now, yep. To... now you're going to just put it wherever you want on this card, and then later we'll just add some other dimensionals. Uh, yeah, yeah. I accidentally cut off the half. You know, there's always something, and I how could how could you miss that? It's kind of obvious, but I cut way too close. <laughs> That's what happens in your hurry. So it's this plus six and a half. But you know, on my website, the th cool thing is you can go download the project sheet, so you'll have the dimensions all right there. I think these are just stunning cards. So or stinking cute. Yep. So we have all of these. So which is your favorite? I'm going to put it back up on us. Which is your favorite, Tim? Are we going to hold them up? Uh, yeah, but we'll do the finished ones that have the... Okay, so cool. there are four. The finished ones that have the... Because they have the deal. These are the... The bling. The bling. Okay. The bling. So is this one of them? Yes. And so the All Good Cards Club is only $15 a month. And you can stop and start anytime you want. So there is a link to that too. So okay. check that out. You can pay $25 and do one class. But I always say pay $15. Just quit if you don't want to take another class. No big deal. But we love to spend. It's on a Tuesday, and we kind of hang out together. Are, they're trying the to vote. They're trying to vote, and you keep going like this. <laughs> oh, I can't change them around. So the first one means you better say something like uh, the flower, the strawberry, the butterfly, or the books, or girl. <laughs> um, <laughs> and we'll vote. <laughs> Um, Gina says she's too much of a perfectionist growing up. Her dad always told her to do it right or don't do it at all. I guess old habits die hard. Okay. It is my personal mission to help you get over perfection <laughs> because I was raised the same and I'm just going to say I've felt the same. And what I have learned in life, if I wait for everything to be perfect, I get nothing done or very little done. It's like even writing a note. I, I'll hate to writing a note to someone because I can't think of what to say. So I don't send the card. And you know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and learning that has just really helped me that um, good enough is good enough is has become my motto. <laughs> because I care a lot more about being creative, getting things out into the world and having fun. And I think we all need to have fun and we all need to be together and have fun. So let me help you get over that. <laughs> and I know we all have different levels of what we can handle in terms of perfection or not. <laughs> But be a little kind to yourself because, uh, you know, other people aren't going to know. So Tim is working is working the camera here since I have this in front of his mm -hmm. face to see. Yep, he's finding an option. I am. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> oh, you guys, we have so much fun doing this. You guys just make our life so much richer. We just cannot. We just cannot tell you enough. So um, go watch Holly. And so this is all good cards club and the card play. We have a lot of fun, too. I, I do it with four great women with Holly and. Julie Heights that many of you know, and Deb Witt. And we have, a, Deb Witt is one who did the calendar recently. So she's one of them. And Julie is the quilt card maker. So we just um, have a blast together. So anyway, we just love all that. Um, the eight stamps uh, on that day, I think we'll be up. I, I need to talk to the others and um, 
see what we're thinking. Maybe it'll go up now. Maybe it'll go up Monday, but I find, I find out. So thanks everyone. Oh, Sean, that's so sweet. She said this is the best part of her Thursday. That is so fun. I will be back at four doing something else. All I right. Don't, I don't even know what yet, but I have some choices over there, things I've been working on. So, <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> and let me know, of course, if you need the catalog, call me, need help with an order. I'm going to be just sitting right off the camera to see what she came up with. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, he Karen, likes that's to, good. He likes to watch me stress out. When I'm, <laughs> but what will happen if I'm stressed out at the end because I'm not ready for a show? I'll, I'll say, Tim, don't talk to me now because he's wanting my opinion oh, about yes. something. And then oh, I'll say, Tim, I'm in, the, I'm in the zone. Two times in a row this morning. <laughs> yes, I did. Because... So I left. <laughs> And then I send him on an errand and life is good. So, you know, it's always ways to manage it. So thanks everyone. Jean is saying she's doing, she's making Deb's calendar so easy. So I just think this is so fun that we can all enjoy doing this together. And I, I just love my team as well too. So we'd love to have you join us. So, um, and you could just do this for yourself to just get, get what you need and be done when you're done. It doesn't remember, matter. Remember, but... there's no I in team, <laughs> but there is in Tim. <laughs> Okay. It's one of my favorite sayings. <laughs> See what.